What is up everybody, welcome back to another video, my name is Tim Potts and today I'll be showing you guys on how to make a comet themed banner. This is going to be a collaboration with Steven Van, we did make a video on his channel quite a long time ago, so I will link that down below, you can check that out if you do want to guys. His channel link will be down below as well, go subscribe to him, he's an amazing video creator. What I want you guys to do is leave a like down below, comment that you subscribed, subscribe, uh, turn on my notifications, all those things that I just put on the screen right there, and in my next video I'll be doing like a shout out thing if you do do all those steps and comment down below that you did subscribe today i'll be teaching you guys how to make a comic styled youtube banner so it's really easy and i've done it with a lot of clients in the past so i thought i'd show you guys and before i get started if we can hit 500 likes on this video i'll be giving away the template to this final banner so yeah let's just get into it so you want to press file new here and this will open up the new document and you want to make the width and height 12,560 by 1440 pixels and set the background content as transparent and then press create. This is your canvas now and you're gonna edit. So you wanna press file place and go to the description and download this channel banner template. It will show you where you can add stuff in the safe areas and stuff. So you wanna press control R to add these guidelines. So you wanna match up with the image here. So here I'm gonna just line it up. And after you do that, you just wanna delete this layer and make a new one the guidelines will still be visible even if you delete the layer. It'll stay visible unless you press Control H and hide them. So I'm gonna make a new layer, delete this. I'm gonna set the background as black. So press Alt Backspace to fill in the layer and make another one and then delete this middle portion. And so essentially all your layers should be in between the first and last layer. So the first step is to go onto your YouTube channel, go to videos, and you wanna take a screenshot of all your videos. This will act as the content of the comic. So I'm gonna just take a screenshot. You wanna press Control Alt print screen on your keyboard and just paste it. Press Control T, hold shift and drag to resize the image. So here I'm gonna do it until it fills in all the space. And I just wanna tilt it a bit so it isn't so plain. And now what I'm gonna do is press black and white and make it maximum black and white and lower the opacity. And by the way, to merge these layers, you wanna press control on the layer to select it and press control E to merge. So I'm gonna make the opacity lower here. And now what I'm gonna do is add the rip paper effect. This is basically the texture. You can add this and then add the paper texture later, but I don't really use paper texture because it doesn't look good on this stuff. I like it a lot more clean. So I thought I just add this. It still adds the effect of like a comic book and like a book, it's ripped, you know, and it looks really clean and nice. So I thought I'd just add that. The next thing you wanna do is add some CC. So make a new layer, go to your brush settings and make sure it's a thousand, like 500 and make sure it's selected as soft brush right here, soft round brush at zero hardness. You wanna select black and just go around the sides here and create a vignette. Just lower the opacity a bit so it's kind of visible. Now you wanna make a new layer and just add a white at the top. And depending on what type of color you wanna have, you just wanna press color balance and you wanna just change it to that. I like it better than using hue and saturation colorize because you can actually have dual colors. So I'm just gonna make it like, I guess teal, like this sort of color. Maybe I should do red. Yeah, I'll do like pink. Pink looks really nice. I'll just leave it there. And I'll also press curves, move it down and then move it upward, leftward to make it more aggressive. Something like that. Now it's more aggressive. And I'll also be adding that white again because it's not really visible. It got really aggressive. Let's be adding it like right here too. So there you have the lighting and stuff. And now I'm gonna add the text. You can go to defont.com and search up the text. So go to defont.com. I already have a text that I wanna use. So you can go to fancy and then comic, but I'm not gonna do that because I like this one font. And I'm gonna put it in the description in case you guys want it. I'm not sure if it really fits into this whole theme, but I'm gonna use long haul. So here, Steven, it's really basic font, but I like how it's slanted slightly and it, I don't know, it just looks really nice. So I'm just gonna make a van right here. Control T, hold shift and drag to resize. There I have it. I'll just select both of these and just move it to the middle. So the last step I have is to place an image that relates to the type of content I make. So you wanna go on unsplash.com. It has a lot of royalty free images and you wanna download an image that kind of relates to it. So I have this image that I just downloaded. I'm gonna drag this onto here or you can just press file place. I'm gonna move it under the color balance. I'm gonna press control T, hold shift and drag to resize so that it fills up the entire space. And now I'll just go to the blend mode and set it as soft light. 
and now we're basically done where you can just change the hue and saturation if you want to do that just move it to the top so you can change the color so maybe red's better because red's the best color and then you can just kind of change the color balance once again so it's like that so it has now a dual color like i said before so maybe this looks better now you can see the dual color looks so like that might look good that looks really nice it looks really cool and in case you want to post this on twitter or something and it's going to show this entire screen and you don't want the black screen you can just highlight everything that's in between this and this. So you wanna select the layer here and press shift on the last layer to select everything in between. Press control J to duplicate and then press control E. Now highlight this portion, press control C to copy, delete this, press control V. So let me just move this on top of here. Select fill, blur, Gaussian blur, maybe like that and then delete this inside. You want to press export, save for web, and then save JPEG. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you out and gave you like a kind of new style you can mess with. I like it a lot. I like the font a lot. I like this ripping effect a lot. And just be creative with it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Steven, and I'll see you in the next one.